hi everyone so in this video i will show you how to download the cisco packet tracker and also create netcat account and also cisco account and the complete setup that you need for starting the cisco packet tracker on your own pc so do not let further and check out today's video and if you need to my channel please consider subscribe to my channel for more videos like this So first of all to download the cisco packet tracker you need to open any browser i am just opening my chrome browser from my pc and here you can search for cisco packet tracker and you will also find a download link in the description of my video from where you can just directly download this cisco packet tracker if you follow my link from my description then you will get this link in the description and you can download the cisco packet tracker 7.1 official file so you can just go to this link i'm using the older version 7.1 if you need the newer version then you can just search on google for cisco packet tracker and download any version so after coming to this page you can just go to below and choose your version which you want to download here you can see I, we have the windows 32 bit or windows 64 bit or also linux 64 bit i am going to use my uh, windows 64 bit you can check your pc windows uh, version by going to your this pc and from here you just right click on this pc and then click properties to check of which version of windows you are using you can see i am using the 64 bit version so i just close this one now i again open the browser and go to the 64 bit download option and after clicking here you can just go here and you can click on this get link so when i click on get link it will automatically open a window and start downloading so this was the downloading process as i have already downloaded this file so i am not going to download this again so i just open the program for my download section you can see i have this download cisco packet trackers 64 bit setup so i close all the folder from here so now i will install this file so i will double click on this exe file the packet tracker 7.1 so i will just click on yes to start the setup process from here i will click on next then i will accept the like license agreement and then click on next and again i will select the folder while it will install i will choose the default folder you can also choose the default location then click on next again and here they are asking if they create a start menu shortcut you just click on next and you can also uh, add a desktop shortcut from here and click next and install and it will start install on your pc automatically it will take a few moments to complete the installation now you can see our install have been completed they are just uh, showing a warning and this is nothing you can just click on ok and then you tick mark here launch the cisco packet tracker and then click on finish it will automatically open the cisco packet tracker for the first time on your pc so now here is the option to create the cisco account also the netcat account so i will show you how to set up this process so you can just click on guest login or you can just open a browser i recommend to open any browser from here and then you search for cisco account creation so you just go to cisco account creation and when you click on this you will find this link you can just click on registration and here you need to give all the information so right now i am uh, doing this for tutorial purpose i will use a temp email address so i will go to temp email address but for you you will use the main uh, gmail account that associated to your cisco account maybe your gmail account or any other thing so here in this case i am going to use the temp email address but i recommend to use any genuine email address so here i just copy this url and then i paste my email address then first name i will use my name and then my country and company address you can give anyone you want i just give this one then you need to give a password here so i recommend any password you like so you can see our password have been successfully created now you need to give the recaptcha from here okay now you need to check any of this option you just click no because they are just giving for updates so i'll click on register so now they will ask for a verification code that have been sent to your email address 
so i will check my email address if there any email came or not so till now there is no email address i will refresh this one so here you can see the cisco email verification code have been came to our inbox so i just copy this code from here and then paste the code here and then click on verify so that's it my account creation have been successful but uh, this is not complete uh, we i will show you something so as you can see my cisco account creation have been completed but when i try to log in in uh, here in my software then you will understand what's the problem so i just come here and copy the email address that i'm using so this is my email address and then i will use the password that i have given now i'll click on sign in now you can see there is a problem that our netcard account is not associated with our cisco account so we need to do another few steps to complete this registration process and i will show you how to do this so now we need to go back to our browser uh, i just go back to my browser and what we need to do we just need to do a search and this netacad netacad account creation so you can just search for an account netacad account creation and when you search here you just need to enroll now free this url so after coming to this page you just need to scroll a little bit below and you will see a enroll now button here so you just need to click on this enroll now button and after clicking here you will redirect to another page and here is a sign up button and this is 100 percent free you don't need to uh, need any do not need any money to register here just you need the account that you sign up with the cisco we use this email to sign up with the cisco so we will use the same email address here with this so i just uh, type my name address a uh, name and uh, last name here and then email address we will use the same email address that we used to sign up for the cisco and then i will use the same email address and then i will uh, just click here and don't send any communication to my account and i am certified to i am 30 years or more old and then a little math 1 plus 2 equal to 3 and then i just need to click on submit then they will redirect us to the cisco login page as we already have the account so i just need to enter the email id and password so i'll use the same email address that i have given and now the password again then click on sign in now you can see our account is almost completed uh, you can see that user email accounts uh, is already enrolled into the iot english 202 so our enroll is complete now you can just fill some information here and um, you can just choose something like your gender and uh, your state who is state you are from and also the uh, disability or not so i'm no and then i can just choose any other and also the birth date from here you need to choose this one because they need to verify your age so that's it now you just click on create account so our account creation have been completed and i am now a official netcad account holder so what i need to do i just again go back to my this here and then click on user login again then i will use the same email address and password and now you can see that i will be successfully login so here i just paste the email address and then the password now you can see i have successfully logged in inside the cisco packet tracker now i can do anything i want inside this and uh, do all our project or network setting anything you want so this is a tutorial complete tutorial how you can set up the cisco packet tracker on your device and also create new account on netacad and also cisco so i hope you this video help you to install this successfully so if you like the video hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel for more videos